final call, please go to gate 13 where the flight is ready to depart. Where do you, you would ask where did you get the information? I am currently on hold right now. I hope it will happen. I hope I will fly, but PCR swab test, it's a big thing. Will any remaining passengers please go immediately to gate 12? Where the flight is now closing. What is up, mga dong, mga dai? Welcome to my channel. It's me, Effie. And yes, I'm in a very, very small room right now. And you can guess what later. Because I am going for my first, first international travel after COVID-19 happened worldwide. And yes, that is a toilet music that they're hearing and to verify that it's not working it's not working see i just pressed something and it's not working so maybe i didn't make it and this is just a simulation area so join me So this is my first international flight right after COVID. Nam kung imumug ito. This is the hardest part in traveling. Packing. Ah. The biggest decision I have to make is whether putting all my documents inside my luggage. Oh no! And it's very dangerous. Only thing that matters in that game. Save your hat. You gotta have this. The merit team. When traveling, what you need is a digital way scaler. Not commercializing anything, but this is the best tip I can give to you guys. And you lift your bag, tells you how much. We got here to the airport and the first thing that I noticed is there is no line on the gates. Usually, whenever I travel, I'm not even exaggerating, Whenever I travel, there's always a huge line to the entrance of the airport. So, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Why do you need online checking? Yeah, sure seats naman too eh. Mm -hmm. best, best, best thing is to avoid the line, diba? Right? Yes. That is the line right there, guys. And this is the line for the web checking. Which, there is no line at all. Seconds later. Where do you, you would ask where did you get the information? Eventually, I am currently on hold right now because oh, no. the lady is saying that Ukraine just published as of 20. 29th of September, they published that anyone who's going inside needs to have a PCR swab test. And on their website, it doesn't say anything like this. So I might not fly today, but I hope I'm going to fly to see my girlfriend. This is such stress right now. One hour later. Oh, she's tagging my luggage. So I think we're good to go. I hope. This is not 
of false false uh, action. Oh, there's my luggage going inside. We have to fill out this form for immigration. Okay. And I'm okay to go now? Yes, of course. Let me explain to you what happened there. I am so happy right now that I got approved without the without the PCR test. But this is a recommendation for you guys that maybe, maybe from now on, this is this is September. Today is September 29, 2020. And at the airport in the website it says that I'm in a green zone and I don't need a PCR test. The website of Ukraine. Uh, you can you can see it in the link below. I will attach a link where you can see the details of, uh, of visiting Ukraine. But there are countries that require PCR test, PCR swab test. And in Ukraine, it doesn't say that you need this coming from a green zone, which Philippines is a green zone right now. And in the airport here, they uh, put me on hold because I they said that I need to have a PCR swab test. But now I didn't. I'm uh, uh, now they, they updated that I don't need and after one hour and maybe two hours almost two hours of waiting I got my boarding pass right over here and I'm ready to go to your and this is the final tip for you guys foreign exchange you need to have US dollars in order to go to Ukraine they're not US dollars in currency but you need this to change to the currency which is green This is basically a bigger form than this one. That's it. You can see the four double line. I couldn't fly. I was put on hold for an hour there in the immigration facility. Oh no! And they're saying that my travel is not essential because there is still a travel ban in the Philippines. You cannot get in or out of the Philippines if you're a Filipino citizen. And if your travel is not essential, if you're not going to your wife, your family, direct family, cousins, it's not even allowed if you have a medical, medical need to go to a certain country, the, those are valid. I have a valid reason. I'm not going to share it. It's private for now. But they managed to say yes after an hour of evaluation. I begged and I cried to the immigration officer who thought I couldn't fly because of check-in. Because of checking in, it was Ukraine required a PCR swab test. You have to double check to your airline. You have, you really have to double check to your airline and to your country of destination if they require a PCR swab test for COVID-19. You have to have it three days before your flight. Or this is valid three days before your flight. So that is the most essential tip that I can give to you guys when traveling internationally. travelers it's not that busy and practically there are areas and there are gates that are empty right now
Well, let me tell you my experience and observation during the flights. First of all, the flight attendants wasn't wearing freakishly scared PPEs, coverall, gloves, hair cover, face shields, and all of those nonsense that scare guests and basically saying to their face and my face, Oh my god, you people have COVID. They just wear masks. Don't get me wrong, protecting yourself and everyone around you is good. But you have to be sure to yourself that you sanitize, you wash your hands frequently, keep yourself clean and healthy before going out there. Plus, the inconvenience of wearing all those for a long period of time must be exhausting. Wearing mask alone is. They do, however, wear gloves while serving food. But the oh, food… No. Oh, let me tell you the food. All those two flights, especially the 12 hours flight, I just had two sandwiches, which is hard to chew and hard to swallow. A muffin, water, juice… I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I have never been hungry in a flight up until today. Also, we have two blackouts. They didn't say what caused it, but to have a blackout on 30,000 oh, no. feet high may have cost me a little pee time. It's a huge airport, you guys. I've been… It's like one kilometer right here. And my terminal is B14. Yeah, B14. This is just B5 right there. B5. That's like five, five kilometers more. <laughs> here we go. Last flight to Ukraine. I'm gonna see me again very soon. Whew. Stay with me, guys. I'm... Please hit like and subscribe if you loved our video. Hit the bell button as well to be updated on our latest videos. Follow us on social media on the description below. Thanks and be blessed! A lot of people are not wearing masks yet. Not that they're not afraid, but their their tactic is immunization. <laughs>